I started working at Alameda Point Collaborative that's mostly focused on homelessness, combating that, and trying to find places for, for people to live. People with disabilities and who had been homeless at one point in time. The more I got to know people, it seemed like Alameda Point Collaborative was a place where maybe they were right, maybe I can do something. It's not enough to make certain that they're fully fed and clothed at this moment. So once I was put in direct contact with Danny Alvarado, Sabrina showed up in October with the laptops and that's when the kids finally believed me because I've been telling them for eight, nine months, I'm going to make this happen, I don't know when. And that first class was jumping, people piled in the door, they did the entire first lesson, they were asking questions. Uh, Heck the Hood has an entire syllabus just ready. It's a type of life skill training in a type of way. Something that I couldn't do on my own it was immediately life changing for them to be able to see somebody that looked like them who knew so much and was not afraid. And Tosh, she sat down next to her little young girl named Nairobi. She didn't even say nothing, just a few key strokes. And she watched, and she did it. And then she did it again. And then she did it. And then she was doing it by herself. Nothing was even needed to be said. Having a good role model around automatically did that. It was the whole point for me. <laughs> to be able to watch that look on her face when confidence hit her. And having proficiency in tools and technologies is one thing. And having the ability to feel confident when you meet new people and take new risks is another thing. It's wonderful to be around people who are so skilled in transferring that feeling to young people. Ooh, 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 ooh.